A morning headache in much of the country. Yet another train off the tracks tonight to this weekend. An Amtrak train derailing near Chicago's Union Station today. 197 passengers were on board the train from New Orleans. No one was hurt. But this comes just as we get new images tonight from the moments after the derailment Friday night. That train from New York to Connecticut and the struggle to save the injured. ABC's Gio Benitez tonight with those pictures and news that those tracks will not be up and running for some time to come. The moment of impact captured by teenagers skateboarding near the accident site. All I hear is a big boom behind me over there and just a big dust cloud. Brian Alvarez and his friends got up close and saw the aftermath. The track, like, the, the, it's off the track. Oh, Jesus, yo, look at this. It's not supposed to be like that. Friday night, a Metro North commuter train from New York City to New Haven, Connecticut, derailed in Bridgeport, carrying 300 passengers. Another train coming in the opposite direction, with 400 passengers on board, then hit that derailed train. At least 70 people were injured. Man, yo, the police are coming. Yo, everybody's panicking. In this video obtained by ABC News, we see the chaos and confusion, but also the rush to help the passengers on board. One woman, unable to walk, is pulled out. Is there a baby in there? You hear about these stories like on, on the television. You're like, oh, you know, it's not so bad. But like to, to actually live it and see, see it and document it, it's like a whole different thing and it just hits you. Earlier today, all of the train cars were removed. Investigators are sending a broken piece of rail to be analyzed at a government lab. It could have been caused by the accident itself. Could have been broken prior to the accident. Tonight, all eyes are on the Monday morning commute. Here at Grand Central Terminal in New York, the 30,000 people who rely on Metro North's New Haven line will have to find a new way to travel. And that's because parts of those tracks will be shut down for days, David.